Hi, my name is Sasha Ramirez, and I'm an FA here at AKM. Today, I'm going to talk to you about AKX, our graphical DSP development tool. AKX is made for rapid algorithm prototyping and development. Its intuitive drag and drop approach will allow you to get your audio application from the drawing board to your speakers in no time at all, even if you have no formal programming experience. AKX seamlessly integrates with our DSPs, making it really easy to tweak your design in real time. And the best part is, it's free. This video will give you a feel for how easy it is to get your audio application up and running using AKX. Before we begin, a brief high-level overview on AKM DSPs and DSP design tools in general. AKM DSPs are sample-by-sample, assembly-based DSPs. In-depth knowledge of the architecture isn't necessary to develop with them, but generally it is helpful to know that there are four key areas in memory. The control registers, the program RAM, the data RAM, and the coefficient RAM. There are several block-based DSP design tools on the market, but all of them share the same base set of features. They all interface directly with the DSP, have a range of programming block and signal routing options that leverage the creation of DSP algorithms. These blocks are dragged and dropped onto a central pane and organized into a signal flow diagram that corresponds to the need of the application that it is being designed for. Let's dive into the AKX by starting a project. When you open the AKX, you are presented with a list of recent projects and the option to open a project from another location. If you have no existing projects to open like we do, the new project button can be selected in the top bar. Here, you will be prompted to select which DSP you will be using and to set a project name. This is also a good time to visit the Setup tab in the top bar to ensure that all the necessary options are set appropriately for your project. The Setup menu has options for RAM configurations, sampling frequency, and other useful build options. Alright, with a new project opened, let's look at the GUI. The GUI is divided into four main sections. The top pane, the side pane, the signal flow diagram, and the property pane. There are two distinct modes of operation for the AKX that result in slightly different items appearing in those sections. Design mode, where the algorithm design is done, and connect mode, where you connect and interface with the DSP in real time. In design mode, the general workflow is to drag and drop blocks from the side pane to the signal flow diagram in the middle, and then connect them with the wire tool. Add an input, and an output, and a basic DSP pass-through program is ready to be built. Starting with the side pane, we have two main sections component selection, and property selection. In component selection are all the standard blocks that are available, from inputs, outputs, EQs, filters, compressors, etc. Blocks will either have a mono stereo variant or ones based on the number of inputs and outputs that are required. Property selection contains the settings and options for the currently selected component, from changing associated text to color to configuring the component specific register and build options. Selecting any of these options will open a submenu in the property pane to the right. In the center of the screen, we have the signal flow diagram. This is where the blocks are placed and connected with the wire tool. Finally, in the top pane, we have our core selection for use with our multi-core DSPs, the edit and diagram bars, which contain all of the tools needed to arrange and edit the components in the signal flow diagram, and the build bar, which houses the compilation and build functions, as well as a useful resource usage utility. To add on to our sample project, we will copy our input and output pairs and remove the wire between them to make room for a stereo EQ and compressor. We simply select those two blocks from the side pane, place them in between the inputs and outputs, and connect them with either the wire tool or by selecting the nodes at the end of each block. Here's a list of standard blocks that currently come with the AKX. We are constantly adding and expanding the selection. If the needs of your project aren't met with our standard blocks, there is also the option to create custom blocks, either on your own or by working with one of our FAEs. Now that our preliminary algorithm design is complete, the project can be built. By selecting the build option in the top pane, you're presented with a build window that shows you the progress and status of the build. Any programming errors will be displayed here. Build files are generated in the output folder of the project. These will contain the completed binary and useful header projects if the build is successful and useful logging files if it is not. Specifics of the function of each file are detailed in the documentation. Once the project is successfully built, connect mode can be used to directly interface with the available hardware to test and debug the algorithm. To connect, first the control registers must be loaded through the property pane. These registers are stored in a text file that is generated ahead of time with the control software for the DSP that you are using. Loading the registers only needs to be done once per DSP power cycle. If the project builds and connects successfully, the build icon in the top will display an online status. In connect mode, 
you now have a sound control panel on the sidebar, useful for generating test signals, and a property selection pane on the bottom for direct access to control registers, peripheral control, and reading various monitoring values. You now have several options, starting with parameter edit, where you edit component parameters, start control script, where you have USB interface settings, reset controls for various elements in the DSP, and the script panel for register loading. Peripheral control allows for control of devices on the evaluation board, such as digital transceivers. Control register allows for manual DSP control register modification from the AKX. RAM read is a useful, versatile tool to read various areas in memory for debugging. Finally, MIR MS box are monitoring registers that have a variety of uses. As a simple demonstration, why don't we try adding a high pass filter at 100 Hz to our EQ? and lowering the threshold on our compressor. If you are monitoring the signals going through your DSP, you should be able to detect these changes in real time. At this point, you're ready to fire up AKX and start your first audio design. Step one, contact your sales rep and ask for a demo board and AKX. We've got a pretty comprehensive library of audio processing blocks so you won't even need to write any code unless you're doing something that's really out of the ordinary. If that's the case, or if you run into any issue setting up your board, be sure to reach out to us and we'll get it figured out. Thanks for watching!